made cloisonne wear. What is this? That is a Santa frog. Okay, well today we are in Hanover, Pennsylvania and we are back at the Hanover Goodwill. Our first visit here was really good. Our second visit was a miss and so we're giving it a third shot. We're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. Bought this in Israel. <laughs> it's a hand carved angel from Israel, $1.99. I mean, it is hand carved. I don't fully buck $1.99. Well, that'll be our first buy. I was noticing that there's a ton of these signs all around. $4.99. Those are made in Japan. I they actually still have a little felt in there. $4.99. This one's broken. And I don't think I'm going to pick those up for $4.99. If they were like $1.99, maybe I would. There's a little clump of grapes. <laughs> I think they're made from beads, so they're not loose like grapes. They might be loose like beads, but not really what I'm looking for. There's a little cottage. There's no markings on that one, though. These ones are Franciscan, if I recall, but they have $3.99 each on those. There is a fun deviled egg tray. You could see there's imprints where little bunnies would have gone. There's another one of those sports <laughs> things. Some pressed flowers. They're completely brown, though. I like seeing the pressed flowers with just a little bit of color. Here are some cast iron... Um, Amish. Oh, it's a family. This iron Amish family. I wonder if that's a souvenir from Lancaster County or something. I don't know. I'm just not really seeing a whole lot here for these Cassie craft walla. Oh, <laughs> they're, people, they're like personalized. Vicki, Cassie, Jordan, and Kate. Here are some Easter residuals, and these look like Tupperware, don't they? But those are fun cups. <laughs> Three ninety nine. You guys are always telling me I should pay more attention to Tupperware. I don't even know the slightest thing about reselling Tupperware. But since it's kind of slim pickings today, I will give the Tupperware a try. Pig taking a bubble bath. <laughs> cookie jar. Walmart cookie jar. Originally $9.86, now $5. Ooh. Made cloisonne ware. What is this? That is a Santa frog. That is not cloisonne. And there's no cloisonne under it either. That was a trick. <laughs> there's the Santa in there. There is a made in China. There's a flocked bear. I'm curious what he has on his bottom. Can we peel it? Yeah. Oh, Dave. <laughs> it's, that's Dave's flocked polar bear. It's quite the impressive piece. That's kind of an optic <laughs> pattern to it. This right here is just a manufacturer's um, defect. It's not actually cracked, but I'm gonna leave that. I think it's made in China. I say, hey, look, there's more Tupperware, but I don't think that those are Tupperware. A few bunny uh, shelf sitters. Do pretty well with the vegetable ones, but. <laughs> Homeco Christmas mice in the box. I should say in the styrofoam still. There is a Jim Shore angel, right? What's wrong with her? Uh, looks like her wings are a little off. She might not even be Jim Shore. I don't see any markings on her. So maybe she's not. Or maybe she was supposed to attach to something. She's missing a thumb. <laughs> that looks like... What is it, England? No, made in Holland, actually. $1.99. I love the pastel colors to it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. He taught me that when I'm buying tins, I always need to check the inside. <laughs> I like that. Um, I also wanted to look at these. Oh wow, Pier 1 cat plates. What? Oh, those are so fun. Oh my gosh, look, there's even a grumpy cat. 
Now Grumpy Cat has a little bit of a chip there, unfortunately. I think those might be worthwhile. We have the matching cups with the carrier. Fantastic. Unfortunately, I'm missing one of the cat plates, so I suspect maybe it got broken or something. Okay, do we think it's vintage? <laughs> or do we think it's contemporary? I think it's actually vintage. It's $1.99. I'm hoping that the sticker doesn't take off the gold there. I would love to find a matchy match, but the reason it's probably here is because it has no matchy match. A little flea bite there. This is decorative. $2.99. You know what? If I was uh, buying this for myself, for my own home decor, I'd pick it up, but um, I think I'm gonna leave it. Uh, there's a foil sticker on the bottom of that. It was probably made in China or Japan. Michael Kors. Mm, it's pretty dirty. And they have Yorktown here, and there's also a Yorktown cookie jar down there. First, I thought those cherubs were. <laughs> Stuck in resin. But no, they're just in a glass cage. There's an old pyrography. Uh, I think that's a Flemish art company. A date to the um, early 1900s, if it is. $1.99. Looks like originally someone had a hook or something in there to hang it on the wall. I get it for $1.99. A Hummel figurine. Oh, she's got damage right there. Still have $6.99 on her. Shall we check? No, no markings. That may be an F there though. <laughs> I like that. It's an art pottery piece. He's got like all this grass glued in his thing, but it's kind of nice. $3.99. Is this? Oh, it's hand painted. Okay, well, I just, I'm really curious how much is on that Pyrex bowl right there. I'm, I'm really curious, so let's check it out together. Oh, it's only $2.99. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> I expect it to be like $9.99. It's Pyrex. No, only $2.99. If you uh, bring up brass candlestick holders. Hmm, somebody made that. These are interesting. Are these uh, tablecloths? I think they are. I think they're vintage tablecloths, $1.99. They're paper. So it's amazing that they've survived. I don't know. Those might be fun to pick up. I'm sure there's a market there because I'm, I bet you not many of these survived. What's this? That is a whole stack of artwork. G. Percy. Hmm. Kind of a neat piece. Hand wash made in China. That's kind of what I suspected. I like the shape of it. Well, I saved the white and clear sections for last. Because I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. There's a doggy planter. Oh, interesting. I actually saw this and thought it was a hobbyist piece, but the base makes me think it could be American Bisque. Maybe? $2.99? Yeah, we'll grab it for $2.99. still have all those planters that I picked up last week to list. Because <laughs> the video, when I'm filming this, that video is not going to be posted for like 12 days. Um, so I'm just sitting on those planters and here I am buying another one. Oh my. <laughs> it's a fairy light. But you know, it's not just any fairy light. This fairy light has a unicorn on it. This is a unicorn fairy light. It's $1.99. It's clear satin glass. I don't know. I'm going to say it's likely made in China. It is fun that it has a unicorn on it, but I'm going to leave it. That's definitely vintage. It has a crack on it, though. And uh, the last planner like that I bought, I think it sold for like $6. This is the pattern on this pie plate. $1.99. It's got kind of like a Pennsylvania Dutch pattern on it. I just came across something. <laughs> it is a dish. And on the back, it says Ernestine, Salerno, Italy. And painted Majolica. And not only did I find this. I know my flap isn't up. 
You guys are probably feeling a little anxious. It's okay. Look at this. There is an entire set. Not only is there an entire set, but this stuff sells really well. So we're just gonna scoop it all into our cart. All right, so I'm just sweeping over <laughs> to make sure I got it all. I think we did. All right, it's all in the cart. That's really exciting. I even thought to myself, you know what, I should check the mugs because I feel like there might be more hiding over there in the mugs. So I found three mugs here, but I'm not seeing any others. I see some Ray Dunn back there. Let's check the Ray Dunn, shall we? Ray Dunn, I think this is the more contemporary. There is another end cap covered in mugs. That's a... Not even marked in English. Yeah, there's a lot of chipping on it though, so I don't think we're gonna mess with that. There are some horse mugs. $1.99. And that's down here. It's too light to be Wendell August Forge. Because it? it's Faber wear. Farber wear. <laughs> Those are anchor hawking. Daisy in the rain. I figured that out because uh, last week, I think it was, I bought a vase. It was a blue vase and it was the same pattern. Um, Anchor Hawking, I think it's daisies or flowers in the rain. A set of four green ones here. It looks like a set of four blue ones sold for 30 bucks. So I'm sure that the green probably isn't as desirable as the blue. We're gonna just scroll down. There's two of the larger ones that sold for 11. So I'm probably looking at like 18 to 24 on those. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> oh boy. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot today. And then for some reason we get to the clear and the white section, and that's when it turns up. Who would have thought it? Not me. Casual gourmet. I was noticing this bud vase back here. This is, I'm gonna say, probably made in Japan. Well, the entire time I was searching through the white and clear section, they were actually restocking the shelves. So I think I'm gonna revisit the shelves at least one more time before we get out of here, and uh, we'll see if we can find anything else. I had to buy these earlier, and as I was walking by, I realized they do see Fiesta on them. Travis Fiesta. Oh, they're pretty bad, though. They're... Ooh. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to head up towards the purses and see if there's anything in the purse section. And uh, then we're going to get out of here. Walking by the textiles, and I noticed this. I don't know. I think this one might be one of those that is made in China. Just judging by the fabrics and the quality of it. It's still a beautiful quilt. How much is it? <laughs> Fifteen dollars. You know what? I still have four giant banana boxes full of quilts that I bought last year. Um, so I'm not going to buy another quilt. I'm going to leave it here for someone else to enjoy. Last time I was here, I actually had pretty good luck in the wallets versus the purses themselves. Ooh, it looks like it's about to rain out. I should probably wrap this up pretty quickly. Otherwise, I'm gonna get soaking wet on my way to the car. Yeah, here, I just like the pattern on that. <laughs> I think it's fun. Looks like sack roots. Yes, sack roots. Ooh, it's in pretty rough shape though. Okay, so I'm just browsing through the purses here. This one has DB on it. I don't know if that would be Dooney and Burke. You guys are always on my case about leaving behind the Dooney and Burke. I'm just not, I'm not that into it. <laughs> One's interesting. So, um, skin. All right, well, it's looking pretty cloudy out here. I didn't know we were expecting rain, but it is windy, it makes sense. So I'm gonna get this stuff into the car. All right, well that was fun. I don't remember our exact spend <laughs> because I was just 
trying to get out of there. Uh, but I will put it down below. Um, I feel like that was a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill. I was very excited about all those plates and dishes. I think those are going to do well. Um, and we got some other good stuff like the, those cat plates and cat mugs. Those were fun too. So I'm going to get out of here now. Um, it looks like I'm going to be driving home in the rain. But I'm going to take the kids over to the new house because my dad built Juliet's loft bed yesterday so really excited to see how that turned out and uh, I guess I'll see all you guys tomorrow so long. Okay well it has been a few tomorrows <laughs> and uh, I've decided to bring you guys back to the shop because I have a pile of auction stuff. I think our total spend at this auction was $1,200 but I'm kind of splitting it up over multiple videos so today we're going to be going through two boxes and I already have them pulled out and set on the tray so uh, let's see what I bought at auction this week. Here we go. So here as you can see is two boxes worth of stuff. I've noticed that Andrew has been putting less items in the boxes so it seems really intimidating when he gets here with the auction pickup but then I start going through the boxes and there's like three pieces in one box so it's probably better that way nothing gets broken there's always a lot of glass so this is a piece that he bought uh, for one of the metal detecting relic shows that he goes to uh, clearly it is a tin type and I suspect that he's probably wearing a Civil War uniform um, Andrew usually takes these with him to shows and uh, sells them there. And then we have some glass. So this one right here, I believe is Fenton with that white crest. I'm not sure what the name for this is with that um, amber with the white crest. It is a pretty base. This one is hand blown. I don't believe there. There's no signatures on that, but it's an aqua color, um, and then it has kind of an interesting top, the way that they folded it over like that. So that's a glass vase. This one was very interesting, uh, very unique. I checked it over, could not find any signatures, but it features this woman in a windmill. I'm going to take it over to the light so you can see it. It doesn't do it much justice, does it? <laughs> There we go, that's better. Um, so it's just a very interesting technique and scene. It's kind of almost this electric blue. And then of course the woman is the same color as the glass of the vase. So I just thought that that was fascinating. I really wish that somewhere on here was a signature, but I've turned it over, I've looked at the bottom. There are no signatures on that, but I just, I feel like it's a good quality piece. So I may have to do some research on that, and if you know, maybe you could leave it in the comments for me. <laughs> but I, I really love this piece. I guess we'll do all the glass pieces first. Uh, this one here is a Costa Boda, and I can't remember who designed this one. It's signed there on the bottom, but I'm not going to be able to read that. But it does have the original Costa Boda sticker. It has all these cane pieces in there. It reminds me of a vase I have listed right now. It's red and it has a lot of these cane pieces, but that one is unsigned and it's it's um, similar in style but different shape. So I actually went back and looked at it again to see, is it signed Costa Boda? Is it the same? It was it not. But So that was a really cool vase. It's actually bigger than I expected. It's always a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and then we have some studio art pottery. I can usually pick this up pretty cheap. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I, I see value in it, but uh, these pieces are signed. That one's got a scribbly on it. Um, I think this one has a scribbly on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That one kind of has a scribble on it, too. So if what I do with these is I usually say, like, oh, I can get 18 to 24 for each of those. And then once I've researched the signature and I maybe find out a little bit more about them, um, I adjust the price accordingly. So when I'm looking at a lot of studio art pottery, I just count on 18 to 24 per piece. And then I get them, I research them, I try to figure out the markings, and uh, go from there. So that's why I bought these pieces. I like art pottery. So. <laughs> that one is marked Alex. Alex made this one. It's not scribbly. It's really easy to read. Pretty sure I could track Alex now. <laughs> all right well that's all i've got for you today <laughs> those two boxes um i've still got a few to go through i think maybe in a few days we'll go through another box and we'll just spread it out over a couple of videos um i've gotten to the point now where i am two weeks away 
I know you're probably seeing this um, two weeks ago, but I'm two weeks away when I'm filming this. And uh, so I'm gonna probably be doing a little bit more here around the local area and around the shop. And uh, yeah, so it's only a matter of time now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So on. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.